Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final part of my blog about um, being on what was initially a five day fast and actually turned into a seven day fast. Here I am, uh, Cy Gennaro from BBC's The Voice. I'm sitting in my kitchen and I'm about to break my fast. I've just been shopping and bought all the things. I did all the research about refeeding and stuff like that. I've read a lot of different opinions. I spent two hours trawling through various different things. And um, there's a lot of different opinions. Um, basically, some people are saying, oh, yeah, just fruit juices. But then other people are saying, oh, no, fruit juice is going to spike the um, it's going to spike the spike the blood sugar and all that malarkey. And, you know, it's all full of bloody carbs and stuff. Um in the end, I said, but but I keep the the, re the recurring theme is that eggs are really good for you. So in a bit, I'm going to have some scrambled eggs. But to break my fast, I'm going to have some of this uh, Rachel's Greek style natural yogurt, which has got all the uh, the bifidum blah 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 bifidum bifidum bacteria in it, and uh, all those things. It's just natural yogurt, no sweetenings, no flavourings, or anything like that. And um, I'm also going to have. Um, pistachios. This is the lazy man's pistachio. This is pistachio kernels for people who can't be bothered to crack the pistachios out of the shells. Usually I do, but I just thought, no, no I can't be asked with that this time. So you're about to witness me break my fast. Um, before I do, this is my bowl. Um, I'm in the kitchen today. No guitar. Sorry about that. But then maybe you'll be happy. Some people will be happy. I've still got my water. I'm going to finish this water if it kills me, <laughs> which it might. Uh, don't you just love lemon tea? So, um, here's for no reason at all, here's some beefy slinkies. These beefy slinkies don't contain any beef, they're a guitar string. Okay, um, right, so basically the whole week has been epic. Yesterday was absolutely brilliant. Again, I keep saying this, um, I've had literally the best week. I've had a gig every night, and I did have a gig on Monday, I just forgot about it. I had a gig early on, and then I went to the Madden crowd. I had a gig for a friend of mine who got married. So I've actually been to two different weddings this week. Um, it's been a really busy week. I haven't changed my life. I always have a very hectic life of running around like an idiot. It's been a very, very busy week, um, but no, no different from any other weeks. And I certainly didn't take it easy in any way, shape or form because I was fasting. In fact, I felt like I had more energy uh, because, like I said, about the refined superfood of the body's internal fat reserves, uh, of which I probably haven't got much left now. I have dropped a bit of weight. I can pull on, pull, pull my belt in, an extra belt notch. I didn't weigh myself before or after because, for me, this was not a weight loss program. This was a um, to see if I can make myself feel better in body and mind, and I definitely have. I've, I've got clarity of mind. My body feels light and breezy. I feel great. Um, Towards the end of yesterday, I started getting hunger pangs, and I know exactly why that was. It's because I knew that it was the last day of the fast, so I started to think about eating. But at the start of the week, when you think you'd be hungry after the first day, but because you've told yourself you're not eating, then you, then you, uh, you, your body shuts down the hunger circuits. It's worth remembering that for people who don't think they'd have the discipline. That's the thing. Okay, so... Um, I'm now about to break my fast. I just want to say, do seek medical advice if you have any health concerns. Um, you know, people who are pregnant, people with heart problems, people with uh, uncontrolled migraines, uh, people with uh, eating disorders, type 1 diabetes, uh, other things like that should definitely consult their doctor before embarking on a fast. And um, if you're in any doubts anyway, consult your doctor regardless okay don't undertake it lightly do your research first but personally from my experience i can recommend it i'm not a medical expert never pretended to be i'm a i'm, I'm an average guitar player is what i am um and i'm a pretty decent harmonica player i'm available for weddings bar mitzvahs funerals everything like that um and i'm really happy that you guys have watched my blog i hope you've found it interesting i know there's a lot of waffle but my blogs are generally about waffle and i think the people that will like my blogs are just the people that like listening to me talk and then the stream of bullshit and occasionally making a valid point and also twanging some random guitar so uh, but not today right so thank you everyone um it's been great i'm now going to put a couple of spoonfuls the thing to do is start to start easy don't uh, don't overdo it have a small portion i'm gonna have a couple of spoonfuls of this i'm also when I say a couple, I'm going to say three. Right, I've got three spoonfuls of that in there, tablespoons. Um, I'm going to put the lid back on that. Um, and the pistachios, I can, I'll, I'll just peck it one at a time. However, I'm not going to go crazy with these. I'm just going to eat a bit of the yoghurt first. But the pistachios are supposed to be amazingly good for you for lots of reasons. Um, 
and uh, look into the low carb diet options of things. You know, you can eat a lot of your favorite things and just cut out the bread and still eat like, you know, sausages, bacon and all those things if you're one of those people or if you're a vegan then you don't have to worry about things like that. Um, personally, I've, I'm not including any meat at the moment. Um, this is all just natural stuff. Um, so, there's a pistachio, just one little pistachio kernel already out of its shell. Smells great. My sense of smell has improved by the way, my eyesight has definitely improved. Um, which is great because you know you start thinking about your eyesight um you know i'm 47. um anything else to mention did the press-ups again this morning just to see about the energy still full of energy uh so now here we go with the food this is the big moment to take a spoonful of the greek style natural yogurt and here we go mm. it's magic I mean, you can mix that with honey, but um, honey is uh, surprisingly carb, surprisingly carb. It is good for you, but it's surprisingly carb. This tastes great without honey. Would I have appreciated it without honey before? I don't know. It's just now I think maybe I'm thinking about food so much, you know, that um, anything's great. And also I've been off it for a week, so my taste buds are kind of like, they're ready for some action. Uh, now. This yogurt, I got it specifically to encourage the uh, growth of good bacteria in my gut. And this natural style Greek yogurt is the best stuff. And it's the set one, but it doesn't really matter which one you get, I don't think. No, I think it's wonderful. It's really nice. Mm. Other things I randomly stocked up on. Almonds, very good for you. Um, cashews. And... Sauerkraut, this is another thing to encourage healthy gut bacteria. So when I have my scrambled eggs in a bit, which I won't be blogging about because you don't want to see two blogs just about me eating food because that's as bad as people putting pictures of their dinner on Facebook or endless pictures of cats. Not that I don't like cats because I like cats. And I also like babies. Not that much. I just think they're great. You know, I don't want one. I mean, I had a baby once, but uh, it's gone now. Well, it's not gone. It's grown up. It's, a th it's nearly 30. <laughs> what am I talking about? Sauerkraut, another good thing. Um, for um, the promotion of uh, good bacteria in the gut, surprisingly enough. I don't know whether this particular Bavarian style sauerkraut with, um, which says it's uh, with wine or something. Does it say with wine? It says, it says with wine. I don't think it's got wine in it. I'm highly unlikely to get drunk. Later on, I might have a very small glass of alcohol just to see the effect, just because I'd like to know. You know, not because I'll be on the, uh, on an alcoholic crazy mission. Yes, I'm chewing this mouthful of yoghurt, even though I don't need to. <laughs> you should chew your food as well. A lot of people don't chew their food. Chew. You know, now I'm going to eat a pistachio now. This is the dangerous bit. Mmm. Oh. It's like there's a party in my mouth and everyone's invited. I say everyone. Um... Not Tommy from um, Motley Crew because he just misbehaves all the time. I'm going to have another one because that's how good they are. Maybe I'll have it with a spoonful of yogurt. Hope you enjoyed this. I mean, do people really need to watch me eat? They don't really. Mm. I'm going to cap this blog at 10 minutes so you don't have to watch me eat. Mm. I didn't realise how exquisite pistachios were. Pistachios and a small glass of dry red wine. You can't beat it. Seriously. Okay, so um, I'm capping this blog. Once again, I want to say thanks everyone for following me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, everyone. Um, shout out to all my friends. Tonight I'll be at Madden Crowd. Come down Madden Crowd if you want to see me in person. I probably won't be drinking. or I might have one, but I'm not going to have ten. Um, but thanks a lot for watching my blog. Please share it out. Share it out to people if you think they might like to watch it. It's, if it's just for entertainment. You know, definitely recommend the seven-day fast. I might do one again one day. But you can also do a one-day fast, a half-a-day fast. Or you could not eat till midday every day. Or you could not eat after six o'clock every day. Um, whatever works for you. But thanks again. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the bell. Um, share this out if you get a chance. And um, God bless you all. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Cy Gennaro, And I'm saying for the, uh, for the while now. But I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.